Go. All right. I want everyone to look to the person next to them. Do you think you have a pretty good idea about who that person really is? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Guys in the car, you they are pretty exclusive. However, they are also aggressive and feel that everyone is out to get them somehow. I used to be one of these people, but have long since changed my way. This was a response from the audience analysis questions. So again, think about, do you really know the person next to you? I think it's also very important that we all know the different aspects of school violence, which brings, brings me to my two points, profiling violent people and simple solutions to make our schools safer. Now, Martin Luther King once wrote, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of the skin, but what, by the content of their character. Now I know that everyone in here at one point has probably been judged or we have, you know, judged someone else before we even get to know these people. Um, now my first point, profiling by people. Um, I'm going to focus on the Columbine shootings and the two suspects because they left a big glimpse of like how they fell through notebooks, journals, and their yearbooks. Um, as a child, Dylan Cable, one of the suspects, he was, you know, he was a Boy Scouts picture of his little league team. Um, seems like a normal kid. His parents said that he had, was a normal kid, gave no indication of a violent nature, uh, but he was very shy. Um, on the cover of Cleveland's journal is written, fact, people are so unaware. Well, ignorance is bliss, I guess. That would explain my depression. He also wrote about, uh, he described a point in his life as a weird time, weird life, weird existence. Eric Harris, as a child, he played soccer, baseball, again, seemed like a normal kid. His parents said that he was content to be by himself, but he still had very many close friends. Harris also kept a journal and wrote about how much he hated mankind and how much he loved his anger. Both of them wrote about uh, not fitting in, not being accepted, and uh, having really low self-esteem. They plot against all the persons that they thought had offended them or not accepted them. And most of these people didn't even know that they had done anything to upset these two. Now, even though the shootings at Columbine and Virginia Tech were tragic, such incidents can never be completely prevented. Which brings me to my next point, simple solutions to make our school safer. According to many college and university officials, maximum security is neither possible nor desirable in a study built on openness. <clears throat> what can college and university do to make their campuses safer then? For one, encourage students, faculty, and staff to report any suspicious activity that they see. Two, train faculty how to spot signs of depression. And three, provide enough training on campus police and security personnel. Now, what can we do? to make your campus safer. Be a friend. Before you judge someone, get to know them. If you see someone that looks like they need help, you know, go up and help them out. I know this one time in high school that there's a girl in the bathroom I've seen a couple times at school. She was crying. I just went up to her, was like, are you okay? Do you want to just talk? And you know, that really helped her a lot. And also, smile. Smile to people. Open a door for someone, you know, help others out. It makes a big difference, even though they're just little, simple things. In conclusion, I'd like to sum up why it's important to be aware of school safety and take steps to make our school safer. There's my two main reasons, profiling by people and simple solutions to make our school safer. I also want to say that schools are pretty safe. The media loves crime and violence. Ter terrible things are happening all the time. We all know they're happening, and they're happening much more often. The media gives us all the glory pictures and all the exciting drama, which covers up the actual truth. ABC News reported that shooting incidents are awful, but unusual. More Americans die from lightning strikes than from school violence. More kids actually die from drowning in the bathtubs. But the media has become obsessed with school <coughs> violence. We will never be able to fully prevent every act of violence. Instead of spending tons of money on uh, defenses, we should use our resources on uh, directing them toward prevention. Also want to end by saying the lights. Today, give a stranger one
one of your smiles. It might be the only sunshine he sees all day. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.